you hire me. Um, so when you took over, you guys still no AEs. We have one officer recruiter. Chris Come on now. Chris Hurst. Yeah. I think you've been with us maybe a year or two. A couple years. Two years. Two years. Um, he had a CN recruiter who had just been promoted to administrator role. And two admins. So that was really the hand that he was dealt when he took over. I mean, you could really sit there and say that the office was um, really not projected to, to build much of anything. Um, he, he really, Andy, you were the right person for the job. I mean, your attitude, uh, I joke all the time about rub some dirt on it, um, but your philosophy was bring the business, the candidates will come. Um, first year in the job, you know, was able to build 1.5 million. Wow. In, in 2005. Um, I'm not sure which had a bigger influence. Was it the amazing roll up that me tried to call through and meet in the middle? <laughs> Or was it the bulk email that you sent out to the entire database <laughs> in December of 37,000? 37,000. I have validated this. Bulk email. Let's just say you just make a whole lot of friends across yeah. the, the rest, but it, 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 it helped our office, that's for sure. We got a So, um, December, I, I gotta be honest, he hired me November of 04. Um, he hadn't moved from San Diego yet. Um, so I'm sitting in the Virginia Beach office, really by myself, um, kind of lost. And I mean, literally, I had a conversation with my dad about whether or not this was the right job. And he says, "Okay, here's a roll up. I have probably about a thousand names in it." And he said, "You start at A, I'll start at Z, and we're going to race to see who gets to the middle." Crush it. Crush. I just start. I'm like this new guy. I just start calling away, and I get to about P, last name P, you don't have to pay any, I think I'm kicking your ass. And Andy forgot all <laughs> So, um, but, but again, right man for the right job, you know, rub some dirt on it, keep pushing, you gotta keep pushing. Um, and then, you know, as soon as we got some momentum, we built four million in 2008. Um, we're rolling in, in the recession. Um, and again, I, Amy, I can't tell you, I think, once again, you're the right person for the job. Um, that was some hard times. I mean, how many, Rob was there, Chris, me, Andy, um, some of you might have, you know, been in the workforce, I don't know. But um, in recruiting, that was a pretty rough time. Um, I mean, and, and just to give you pers some perspective, we were still able to build $2 million and $2.5 million in 2008 and 2009 under your leadership. And, and it's really because... You know, simply, there's no excuses with the way you do. Um, there, there's always a way, and you find a way. So, um, again, right, right person for the job. Um, which then leads us to the third act. Um, the third act, I'm not sure if you can categorize the start to the third act however you want. Candy, I don't know if that fight was yeah. your fight before. But the fight that my daughter might have been later. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, but, you know, when you look at um, what you've done over the last two years, uh, and this is the, the Andy that most of you have shown, $1.1 million in the last three years. Uh, I, I, don't know, I don't know if that's ever been done. I know people have you know, spiked and come back down, but the consistency, again, three straight ones for the last three years. Um, Have something to say. There's lots of stories. Yeah. Well, we can share later you always have something to know, say. I know Chris does. I have one thing, but I'll defer. Well, we share oh, stories now. Go, go, Chris. Yeah. Let me share yeah. stories later. It's all right. It's up to you if you want to share an hour later. I just wanted to give somebody else a floor. No, Chris? Come on, Chris. Right. Tony will say it with a camera shut down. All right. So, a um, couple of either stats or facts or trivia questions. So, Andy, um, you are just for this out. Exactly. So, 
rugby. Rugby. Yeah, the plate is facing Professor Rugby. Yeah. So, and specifically, West West Point. So, oh, man. Oh, so, yeah. Come on, man. Awesome. Thank you. Wow. Dude, look at the number. So, this is an actually game worn West Point jersey. That was just the West Point football coach. Um, and, and Stacey, um, you know, tracked down and, and ordered the uh, rugby ball in Molly Moore. Um, we really stepped out with that as well. Um, but, you know, your second passion to be in rugby. We're second Thanks, everybody. trying to be the first 
really strategic. He's not a manager while raising four, four girls. You know, if it's and he's not here right now. If it's earning your bachelor's degree and a master's degree without anyone in the ride even know you're doing that, being the most productive recruiter anyone ever, it's Mike Booster. Whatever your goals are, it, it's going to take discipline, and you shouldn't be doing it. You shouldn't be doing that for your boss. You shouldn't be doing it for any other reason but because it's it's for you. Um, David Thoreau's quote, I'm not, I don't have it, well actually I have it written down, but I'm going to pull it out. <laughs> but David Thoreau talks about the importance of, of accomplishing goals. It's not what you get, it's not like well, one accomplishing goals and then at the end of the day I'm going to get this great back. But guess what, the next day you don't have that bad anymore. Where I'm going to accomplish these goals and my boss is going to pat me on the back. The next day, your boss might be, you know, I'm going to accomplish these goals, I'm going to get this commission check. Well, guess what? That money's going to go somewhere, too. It's not about what you get, you know, and when you, like, why should I do these things? It's about keeping a promise to yourself, okay? And that's the one that matters. And if you're in a habit of always, well, I, I said I was going to make, you know, X amount of calls today, and, uh, I, man, everyone was hanging up on me, and I did it. Well, it's not DJ, it's not Mike Rooster, it, it's no one is going to hurt from that but yourself. Because the next day, guess what? You're going to make that same excuse. And if you can make that promise to yourself and, and do that goal and finish it, well then guess what? The next day, you cut that promise and the next day, you'll do it again and do it again. And you will succeed and you will earn money and you will become an MBA star. You will have a great family and all that will be saved by Jesus. You will have great women that are in your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good for you, Tim. <laughs> you, will make, you will make partner and you will make senior partner. You will get those goals, but you have to... You have to keep a promise that you make to yourself, first and foremost. And if you get in the habit of doing that time and time again, and then the next morning he's like, look, I set a goal, not because DJ made me, or not because anyone made me, because I made that goal myself, then you will succeed, and it'll be who you become. And uh, man, I, I love y'all, and I can't say that. Yeah. 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 Shout for everybody. Yeah. You're our favorite, man. I'm Tony. I'm Tony. <laughs>